Our movie starts with two people sleeping in their room. Suddenly, they hear a noise at the window and become very scared. When one of them gets up to see what it is, a strange creature pulls him away. The other one decides to escape quickly, but some weird alien creatures are chasing him. When the aliens catch him, they take him away, leaving behind a chain, and then kill him with a dagger, turning him into dust. Later, we switch to a boy named Daniel, who is with his friends at the sea, playing and having a great Time. They return to the beach to meet with his friends. At night, Daniel receives a message from a girl named Nicole asking him to come to her. Daniel goes to her, and they are at the sea when suddenly Daniel gets pulled underwater with a glowing mark on his leg. Nicole gets scared and tells people that Daniel is a monster, and then Daniel loses consciousness. The next day, Daniel wakes up and finds himself on the shore with a red mark on his leg. A man named Henry tells Daniel that a number three is dead. When Henry asks if anyone else saw what happened to him, Daniel doesn't respond. Then Henry takes him away and they gather their things, burning all the pictures to escape from that place. On the way, Daniel learns that everyone thinks Henry is his father and that he's a warrior from his planet assigned to protect Daniel's life. Daniel also reveals that he knows nothing about his real father, only that he left him a box which Henry said he would give to him at the right time. He also mentions that the first mark on his leg appeared when he was nine years old, realizing that the Mugadorians had located them. The second mark appears when he was 12, indicating that number two died. Yesterday, the third mark appeared, meaning that number three died. He explains that they are nine young people and the Mugadarians wants to kill them all. Indeed, they have already killed three of them and are now after the rest. We understand that it's Daniel's turn because he is number four. Henry and Daniel arrive at a new house where Henry gives him his new identity and his new name is John. Henry tells him to completely disappear and not to recognize anyone in this place. Daniel tells Henry that he saw number three and felt what happened to him when the knife killed him. Henry gets scared and makes up his mind that they need to change the place they are in because what happened means that the Mugadorians are tracking them. He says they will go to a place called Paradise because he has worked there. When they reached their house there, the weather was very bad. Afterwards, Daniel goes out to get the bags from the car and one of the Mogadorians disguised as a lizard is following them. Then Daniel and Henry hear a noise outside the house. Henry takes the dagger and goes to see what it is. Finding a small dog, Daniel decides to take it and raise it because he currently has no friends or anyone to talk to. Henry is worried about the dog, but he reluctantly agrees for Daniel's sake. Later, they go to number six who is also gathering her things and setting the house on fire before leaving. The next morning, we see Daniel getting ready for school and the dogs follows him and watches over him. Then Daniel enters the house and he applies for admission and waits for a while in the office. At that time, he sees a girl named Sarah in the principal's office trying to get back her camera, which was taken because she took pictures of the teacher and posted them online without permission. The principal returns her camera and asks her not to post anything online without the owner's permission. After Sarah leaves the principal's office, the clerk takes Daniel to show him his locker so he can put his stuff in it. Sarah takes him to the locker and then she leaves. At that moment, a group of bullies arrive and they recognize Daniel and start teasing him before leaving. Then another boy named Sam arrives and the group of bullies starts bullying him. Daniel notices what's happening but doesn't speak up to avoid trouble. Daniel goes to his class and sits alone during break, not wanting to talk to anyone. He notices Sarah is also sitting alone. At that moment, he sees one of the bullies named Mark hitting Sam with a ball, causing Sam to fall to the ground. Daniel goes to help him and picks up his stuff with him. Afterwards, Daniel hits the ball again towards the group and one of Mark's friends falls to the ground. Sarah notices everything happening, so she takes out her camera, snaps some pictures, and uploads them to her website. However, the pictures get deleted quickly. At that moment, Henry enters Daniel's room and tells him that he instructs him to stay hidden to avoid being killed. The next day, the Mogadorians reach the beach where Daniel was, realizing he is still alive. During a class, Daniel notices his 
hands glowing, so he quickly exits the room and hides in a school closet, attempting to extinguish the light in his hand by any means, but he fails. Henry learns that Daniel is in trouble because the dog keeps barking loudly, so Henry goes to Daniel's school to help him. Henry tells Daniel that what he's experiencing is called legacy inherited from his father, who was the only one of the nine to acquire this power. He tells him he can control his power through breathing. Indeed, Daniel gets himself together and the light in his hands disappear. Afterwards, Daniel and Henry return home, where Henry tells him that his powers will increase, so he must learn to control them. He also tells him he shouldn't go anywhere until he learns to control his powers as it will attract attention. Daniel goes to his room and tests his power. Then he jumps out of the window to try his power in a wider area, throwing a brick into the sky, which pierces the atmosphere. Daniel realizes his power lies in running and jumping. At that moment, the dog is still behind him, observing him without taking notice. We then see one of the Mogadorians buying frozen turkeys and feeding feeding them to the predators in his car. At night, Daniel walks in the street and coincidentally meets Sarah. They walk together and Daniel notices from her talking that photography is her life. On the way, they encounter Sam's stepfather who treats him very harshly. Afterwards, Daniel arrives at Sarah's house and goes in with her having dinner with her family. Daniel feels very happy with the family vibes, something he has never experienced before. Sarah then takes him to her room, showing him the pictures she took and explaining that although she travels to many places, she feels that home is the best place. At that moment, Daniel hears his dog barking, so Sarah realizes he needs to leave immediately. But before he goes, she gives him one of her cameras. Mark is sitting in his car in front of Sarah's house watching Daniel as he exits. The next day, Daniel goes to school and Sam warns him because Mark and his friends are angry with him. Mark is in love with Sarah and doesn't allow anyone to get close to her. When Sam and Daniel open their locker, it explodes in their faces emitting a red light, which greatly disturbs them. Mark and his friends are the ones who set it up and they start blaming them. Daniel wants to hit Mark, but he restrains himself to avoid hurting him. Afterwards, Sam and Daniel go to the bathroom to clean themselves. Daniel notices that Sam is wiping his picture with his father, who wastes his life searching for aliens. At that moment, Henry is searching the internet for Sam's father and discovers his old workplace. Henry goes to the place and suddenly finds the ground opening up beneath him. When he goes down, he finds markings on the wall similar to the ones on Daniel's legs. Suddenly, he finds a blue stone on the ground, which he takes with him to analyze and understand. At night, Daniel goes out and sees Sarah, who wonders why he's avoiding her. He tells her that Mark warned her not to get close to him. Sarah reveals to him that she and Mark used to be together, but broke up, and ever since, she has a terrible reputation at school, and everyone believes him. Afterwards, they go to the House of Horrors, where Mark and his friends attack them, trying to kidnap Sarah. Daniel fights them using his powers, but Mark manages to snatch Sarah. At that moment, Daniel sees one of Mark's friends and beats him to find out where Sarah is. Sam witnesses everything and is amazed by Daniel's strong power, confirming that he's not normal. Then Daniel goes to save Sarah, fights Mark, and takes Sarah to her house where he confesses his love for her. On the way, he sends Sam a message telling him to meet him because he saw what happened at the House of Horrors and needs to talk. Later, Daniel meets Sam and starts telling him that he's not human. Sam explains that he spent his childhood searching for aliens with his father, who suddenly disappeared. He asks Daniel to let him know if he's one of them to confirm that his father wasn't crazy. Daniel tells him that his father was right about aliens and asks him not to tell anyone about this secret because they're looking for him. The next day, Mark's father, the police officer, goes to Daniel and Henry's house and asks Daniel if he knows what happened at the House of Horrors because because his son got hurt there. Daniel tells him that he was with Sarah and wasn't paying attention to anything else. Henry assures the officer that if they find out anything new, they will inform him. As the officer leaves, Henry tells Daniel they need to move quickly because of what happened yesterday. He shows Daniel a video of what happened to him in the sea when he died. 
But Daniel tells Henry that he won't run away from his fate and when Henry insists, Daniel uses his power to strike Henry. This leads to a fierce battle between the two of them, a battle in which Henry ultimately wins. He tells Daniel that he won't sacrifice his life and the important cause they are in for the sake of a girl. Daniel confesses that he loves her deeply and can't leave her. At that moment, number 6 watches Daniel's video from the sea and smiles because she knows he's still Still alive. Daniel wakes up and doesn't find Henry at home. When he calls him, a stranger answers and tells him to come to a certain address if he wants to see Henry again. Daniel then calls Sam to give him the address. At night, they reach the address and Sam wants to accompany Daniel inside but he refuses. They follow a man who closes the door and walks away. Daniel asks Sam to follow him and send him a message if he sees him coming back. Inside the house, Daniel finds Henry's dagger and then he meets Henry himself. He learns that the Mugadarians are coming and suddenly the stranger enters with Sam threatening to kill them. Henry uses his power to strike him. They start fighting and a fight ends with with Henry's superiority. The man tells them that the Mugadarians are looking for Daniel and Henry before leaving. Before they leave the house, another Mugadarian attacks them and Henry sacrifices himself by fighting him until he kills him. However, he wakes up again and joins Daniel, Sam and Henry trying to defend Daniel. They all move in the car and run from the creature. On the way, Henry dies from a serious stab wound inflicted by the creature. He gives Daniel the blue stone telling him it will lead him to the remaining five and they must unite to face the Magadarians. Afterwards, the police officer goes to Sarah and notices that Daniel is not normal. We learn that Daniel and Henry are accused of terrorism. Daniel goes to a party where he meets Sarah and tells her he came to say goodbye. Suddenly, the police arrive and Daniel tries to escape with Sarah. At that moment, Mark and his father, the police officer, are in the car looking for Daniel, but halfway they meet the Mugadorians, who kill Mark's father and take Mark himself to show them Daniel's place. Meanwhile, Daniel and Sarah are at school developing Sarah's photos. After a while, the Mugadorians arrive at the school. Sam calls Daniel and informs him that the Mugadorians are at the gates. When Daniel takes Sarah to escape, the Mugadarians enter and behind them comes number 6, the girl who attacks them. They manage to escape from them. At that time, Sam was in his car with the dog. Suddenly, he sees the Mugadarians' car open and strange creatures comes out of it. The dog also transforms into a strange monster, but Sam manages to escape from it and enter Daniel's place. He tells him what he saw and gives him the other half of the blue stone. Suddenly, they are attacked by both the monsters and the Mugadarians, resulting in a long chase between them. We were shocked that Daniel's dog, which had turned into a monster, was defending Daniel, but then it returned to its normal state. Then, number six attacks Daniel and he fights off more than one of the Mugadarians. However, suddenly the monster takes number six and when Daniel tries to save her, one of the Mugadarians comes and lifts Daniel. But Daniel uses his power, causing the entire place to explode. And the good news is, number six is alive after taking down the monster and saving Daniel while they get rid of the Mugadarians. Afterwards, Sam, Sarah, Daniel, and number six gather and combine the two halves of the stone together, causing the stone to come completely disintegrate. At that moment, Mark comes to Daniel to give him a box from Henry, which the police had from his house to help him reach the four supernatural beings and unite them together. At this point, Daniel goes to Sarah and promises her that he will return to her. He takes his dog, Sam, and they walk with number six. And that's it! If you like this recap, hit like, share, and subscribe to our channel to keep seeing content like this one. If you have any requests or thoughts, drop them below in the comment section and we will see you at the next one. Peace out!